Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they'd have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, the Vines. Please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries on his stick. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Danny? Where are they going? We need to go inside them. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa! Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the car. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <clears throat> Lokir of Rorikstad. No! I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. <laughs> Who are you?
You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord in the rags. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Legends be true! Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move, now! Up through the tower, let's go! We just need to move now! Uh. In on the other side. Jump through the roof and keep going. Go! We'll follow when we can. Stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hedlar. 
Stay close to the wall! Really a dragon? To bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. You better get some gear. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. Gotta get that armor on. Give that sword a few swings, too. Let's keep. Is still out there. Come on, this way. Give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Hold on now. We only want to. You won't take us. You want to die? Oh. Lucky.
Come on, this way. Come on, this way. doesn't give up easy. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen, now! These Imperials have potions in here. We're going to need them. An old storeroom. See if you can find some potions. Might come in handy. And then, this way. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need to hear that. Come on, let's ask now! You're pathetic! You fellows happened along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I'd been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helgen. A dragon? Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Forget the old man. I'll come with you. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. See if you can get it open with some picks. We'll need everything we can get. Sure. Take all my things. Please. Grab what you can and let's go. Leave me to my work, unless you plan to stay and help.
There's no way out that way, you know. are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. See if we can find a way out. I'm sure the others will find another way out. I guess we'd better try this way.
there's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow, and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's a blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today.
I'm warning you. Back off. Now ain't this a surprise? You'll pay for that!
Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Sigrid will get you something to eat. Tell me about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrow. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, 
We've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters, a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people, just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. 
everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. Hadfar, All did right, you then. really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, child. Don't pester. Your cousin. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there you can take a carriage to Solitude. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone has seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Oh, you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right, the leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom, but the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the general turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire, but here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Then where would Skyrim be? That's the part that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor will destroy us all. Be careful on the way to Solitude. Damn Stormcloaks could be anywhere. Keep your guard up. Stay sharp. What the Rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. 
damn Stormcloak rebels. I hope I'll see you in solitude. Good luck. You haven't heard of the Civil War in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. Whatever you need. Buy a smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. You looking for a new blade? To. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. stranger got any ale or mead all right then this is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors the Imperials we drink to our youth to days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. The children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Oh, there we got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. As he told of both battles in gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden. Take a look.
Oh, you talk there have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Raggard named Ragnar was boastful no more. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. I'm just the cook, lad. Give me a mug of ale. Mm-hmm. here so I'll go easy on you but don't get on my bad side get me mad I'll prank you and not a little a lot Everybody around here is so serious. <laughs> 